Okay, I'm going to do a quick, really quick video here on how I install a free float quad rail. Uh, first of all, what you're going to need is a barrel nut and a barrel. This is a Stag Arms 20 inch heavy barrel. What you want to do first, insert it like that. Slide this over, start threading it. Now, I have a dowel pin I made for doing this somewhere. I can't find it at the moment. So, what we're going to do today is improvise. When I say improvise, what we're going to use is a 3 16 drill bit. And you'll see where I'm going to use that in a minute here. So basically, after you get it a little bit snug, you want to start tightening it. Sometimes these holes be a little bit of a pain to line up. So you want to just start tightening it like so. That's where the drill bit comes in or the pin. What you want to do is feed it through. So you feel it go in there. And right there where it is right now lines up pretty good. You can eyeball it, look down it. Make sure it's lined up. Looks like I gotta come back just a hair to where I get it perfectly centered with the hole for the gas tube to the upper receiver. Let's look again. Still just a little bit, but it's pretty much snug right there as it is. And this is how I do it. Other people may have other methods, but they all should pretty much be about the same. That's probably too far. So, that looks good right there. What you want to do, get your gas tube and your gas block, line it up, and it should just feed right through. And then you want to take an Allen wrench. You can't see what I'm doing here, but basically tighten up the gas block. You can always come back and do this, or I could do this later. So what I'm going to probably do is just leave that alone for now. I'll come back and tighten it. Take a quad rail, put it over top of everything. Start tightening it down. As you can see, this isn't a very long process. Okay, now what I have to do now is take this out of my fixture because I still haven't finished adjusting this all the way like I want it. I made this upper receipt fixture out of my head and I have to, uh, in order to really be using this appropriately, I'm going to have to cut the front of this off. It's causing me problems. Basically you just want to thread it on there. And what it's going to do is go past the set screw markings on it and it'll start threading on the other half of the nut and that's what you want right about there is where you're going to want it it's at this point right there where you can take your set screw Thread it in here. And if you're right, you see, you rub your finger across that and feel that that's flat all the way across there. Then the only thing you need to do after that 
as I've seen it done many different ways. What I usually do is I take a small hammer and a screwdriver and I'll just tunk this down a little bit just to tighten it up. But the set screw is going to keep it tight. And uh, you can see, really not much to do in this. Pretty simple procedure. And if you got the delta ring and all that on there, it's going to take you a little bit more. you got to pop all that stuff off. But if you got an armor's wrench, that's not a problem. But as you can see, lines up good. Everything's flat across here. There's no ridge. So there you know you have it centered. Gas tube's inserted. And that's it. Uh, a lot of times what I do is I put a little Loctite on this screw. Just so it doesn't fall out. I do the same thing up here on the gas block. I'll lock, lock tight these in here so it doesn't slide around. Uh, the other thing I have to say if you're going to go with this, most of the time, is I always use the low profile gas blocks. It just makes it easier because then you can line everything up before you can put it on there. It's not necessary. I've done AR builds in the past where I use a full rail length, rail height gas block on them too, but that's mainly for the carbines I build. But there's really not much to do in one of these, as you can see. Pretty simple procedure. And, you know, you could put an upper receiver together in just a matter of minutes, to be honest with you. If, if you got a complete upper, putting a barrel on with float tube and a gas block, say 10 minutes maybe, if that. Uh, then after you're all done, what you want to do is thread on your muzzle brake. This is a Yankee Hill muzzle brake I'm running on this particular one. But, uh... After you're all, everything's tightened down the way you want it. And then you're lock it up in the vise again. Get this tight. And on this particular one, you want these slots to run about 90 degrees up and down. As you can see, it's uneven around, but it's got a wider gap here. So I run it, tighten it down so it's these are 90 degrees. And that's pretty much it. So as you can see, there really isn't much putting a free float tube on one of these. Whether it's quad rail, whether it's just regular tube, not a lot of work, matter of minutes, and you're done. That's basically it. There's not a lot involved in doing one of these. So, anyone out there is thinking of swapping one over, I hope that helps you. Maybe just point you in the direction to show you that if you've got an armorer's wrench and a vise, this really isn't a difficult job. Pretty simple, pretty quick. You saw how long it took me. So, I hope this helps out anybody out there who's wanting to switch over to one of these.